In this video, I'm going to show you guys my top 10 food at a Japanese department store. As you guys requested, I'm doing a video on my top 10 food at a department store from the last video. What a lot of people don't realize is that basement department stores, also called the Pachikans, have really high quality foods. Today, we're going to go to the Tokyo Food Show because it's one of my go-to spots here in Shibuya for bentos, sweets, and all sorts of different kinds of foods. But if you guys are really looking for some premium sweets, just down the street there's a Hikarie. Hikarie has a wide selection of premium treats and some of them are pretty trendy as well. Oh, and if you like my Tokyo shirt, help support my channel and check out the merch link below. And it's getting super hot out here, so let's go down to the basement and check out the food. Tokyo Food Show is directly connected to Shibuya Station, my home station, and it's just underneath of Hachiko. They even have an eating space for anyone to have a quick bite. And if you're not hungry, it's pretty dope just to check out the cooking demonstrations. Alright, let's get our food on! Number 10, Curry from Nikuyama. Nikuyama! It actually means meat mountain. Isn't that what they say for like when they yodel? Nikuyama is an uber popular meat restaurant in Kichijoji, which sometimes takes months to make a reservation. But at the Tokyo Food Show, you can get their same delicious beef curry without the wait. It smells so good. So you can just get the regular curry, which is about five, six hundred yen. But if you want, you can also get a hamburger on top of it, or you can get the katsu, which I got. What I really liked about it, you get the curry on top, and they separate the rice and the meat so that it doesn't get all soggy, which is really, really nice. It's like, I really appreciate. Like you can smell the spices. That's what I love about this place. Mmm, I love it. But one of the things I love is like how thick the curry is. It's really savory. You can definitely taste the spices, but it's not like a really, really spicy curry. Oh, and then the meat. Mmm. The meat is so tender in this. Oh, the katsu curry. Mmm. -hmm. And since they package the katsu separately, when you take a bite into the katsu, it's still crunchy and crispy, which is really nice. There's a lot of big chunks of meat. That's so good. Mmm, wow, this is so good! You can taste all the veggies in here, it's all melted. I didn't eat the katsu, but I ate the meat in the curry. It literally melted, oh my god. Did you actually eat the meat? Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, it sure is good. I don't eat the regular meat, it's like, I think it's ton. Number 9, Somen noodles with egg from Nadaman. Nadaman is a staple in most department stores and actually has a long history as a Japanese restaurant. It even appears in old literature by Japanese novelist Soseki Natsume. You can find delicate and refined Japanese dishes here. So this shop has all sorts of Japanese like bentos and like really like Japanese stuff. So one of my favorites is this somen. It's really cool because it has an onsen tamago and I love onsen tamago. It has some shrimp, it has some spinach. It's really perfect for the summer because it's served cold and the soup itself. It's not like a very liquidy soup It's more like a, a gelatin soup like that What a shitty slurp Mmm that was a good slurp. If you guys have never had some somen noodles, basically the soup itself is quite salty But not like too salty. What I love is this like onsen tamagam. Look at that. That's the best part. Onsen tamago, the yolk is still runny. And when you like slurp in the noodles, you can definitely taste the egg. This is like one of those things I don't eat a lot, but like sometimes you just like feel like you want to have some noodles, you want something refreshing. Then this is something that I would definitely get. So like somen is like a summer food in Japan. Like my mom used to make it for like lunch. It's kind of like a lazy food at the same time because it's super easy to make. Mmm, it's so good. A dashi kiteru ne, oishi. When you eat somen, you either dip in a dashi sauce or you eat it in like a soup. It's never be like this kind of jelly, but since it's jelly soup, it sticks to the noodle. You can taste the soup more. It's it's good. 
これ最後の一滴まで美味しいわ。No.8 Eggplant Salad from Ebisu Daikoku You'll find Japanese homemade salad dishes at a premium quality at Ebisu Daikoku Once you try it, you'll taste a difference straight away Vegetables are cut right before being cooked maximizing its umami flavor And if you can't decide what to get you can go for one of their bento options Keeping to a healthy and summer theme we have an eggplant and eringi which is a mushroom It's really refreshing and then they also have like this daikon which then they put kind of like a ponzu sauce like a citrus sauce on it It's really delicious and I like it if I just like want to keep a little bit healthy But I also want a lot of flavor because this is really flavorful because the daikon soaks up all the flavor as well as the eggplant and the eringi Mmm, the eggplant is cooked so well. It's like when you eat it, it's like kind of nice and gooey, but it still retains all of the flavor of the juices that it's been marinated with. Edingi, the mushroom. Mmm, that's nice. It has that bitter mushroom taste. Yeah, and I just love the ponzu. It's like a very refreshing, that citrus vinegary taste. I know this dish was oroshi salad. So it's supposed to be a salad, but it seems like nasu no nibitashi, kind of. They cook it or grill it or deep fry it, and you put it in the sauce for like, I don't know, like 20, 30 minutes or something. So it soaks up the goodies from the sauce, and it is super soft. Mmm! No, shit! It's so refreshing, and I love how the juice comes out from the nasu. Number seven, Japanese pickles from Ginza Wakana. This Japanese pickle shop always has interesting pickles, and that's why I love it. When we went this time, they had corn, eggplant, and even edamame. Now I know it may not be that exciting, but I got pickles. So. One of like the most popular snacks in Japan during the summertime are pickles. <laughs> right? Right, Michael? You like pickles? Yeah, see? Michael loves pickles. If you go to like a festival or a fair, they have like buckets of pickles on ice. <laughs> what festival did you go? No, remember when we went to Oeda Onsen and they had like these like pickles on a stick? Like, they're just cucumbers. These ones are like actually more like lightly pickled but they are so delicious so usually when you eat these you like cut them up into little pieces eat it with rice or you like you have it like in a little bowl share it amongst friends while you're just like talking hanging around maybe drinking all right mm. it's a little sweet and the way like this place has done it like it almost like tastes like there's like a rice wine that it's in mixed with or like some alcohol but not, not too strong. It's so refreshing and crunchy. I hear this crunch. It's like it's still crunchy. Number six, Menchi Katsu from Azuma. Azuma is a fried food specialty shop. And you guys know I love fried food. Uh, how many? Today, let's do one. <laughs> Look at that. Bam! Open. Ow, that's hot. For future reference, please use some chopsticks. Look at that fried, crispy piece of love in my chopsticks. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow. I had this before, but I forgot how good it is. That's a nice crunch. Actually, let me like show you guys. It's really delicious. The meat is intoxicating. It's still like very packed with oil. So it's like it just melts all those juices in your mouth. It's not like the healthiest thing, which but that's why we love fried food, right guys? So there's actually like two or three kinds of benchikatsu at the shop. The one that I got is mixed with pork and beef, but the one that's actually more popular than that is just like strictly pork. But I kind of like the mix of pork and beef in my menchikatsu. I think that's why like you get like an interesting mashup taste that you don't usually get when you just eat pork or you just eat beef. Maybe if you guys go there, definitely try just the pork and just let me know what you guys think. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like a thick bread all around. Take Mmm! Oh my! Meat is so sweet. It's not heavy at all. I don't know how they do that, but it's so good. Number 5, Tamagoyaki from Taro. If you're looking for a fluffy tamagoyaki to add to your meal, can't go wrong at Taro. So what I love about this shop is that it has all these different types of tamagoyaki. So if you've never been to this shop before, I recommend getting this triple set because there's so many different kinds. I think there's like 6 or 7 different kinds. Let's try them out now. Alright, so we'll start off with the regular tamagoyaki. You can actually see the layers there, which is like your standard tamagoyaki. 
Definitely, this is like the sugary version. It's like a really, really sweet scrambled egg, but it's still good. Nice and soft. And then this here. So this is a saboro. It has the chicken inside. Let's taste it. It's not as sweet as a sweet tamagoyaki, but it's still a little bit sweet. I really wish I had some rice with this. Ugh. Definitely good. And so this here is Kyofu, which is like the Kyoto version. And so this one is actually my favorite out of all of them. It's not that sweet and it's a little more savory. So I kind of like saltier foods. So that's my preference. But again, it really depends on what you guys like. But definitely worth a try if you've never had tamagoyaki. This is the spot at the Tokyo Food Show. I like the clam pickles too. It's nice. Number four, seaweed and jaco salad from RF1 Sozai. RF1 Sozai stands out for its beautiful section of salad. This is definitely my go-to when I'm craving fresh greens. So what's nice about this shop is that it has a bunch of different like healthy salad options but it also has some fried food options it also has some bento options so it has just like all these different options but the salad here is really really good now there's just so many different ones this one is one of my favorites the reason why it's one of my favorites is because it still has like a lot of like the Japanese ingredients it has like seaweed daikon and it has like this little fish called jaco it also has a ponzu ginger sauce which is you know vinegar citrus and ginger and it just makes like a very a very refreshing dish to eat on a summer's day and it's healthy mm. uh -huh. I really enjoy the texture because it has the seaweed which kind of gives it like kind of like a slimy crunchy texture you have the daikon radish which then gives it kind of like crunchy pear and just overall it has just a bunch of like different textures but I just love the crunchiness of the Japanese ingredients so Definitely, if you're gonna get a salad, get this one. Number three, sushi rolls and onigiri from Koichian. Koichian is a sushi and onigiri shop that you can find in many depachikas, and it's been one of my favorites for a long time now. So this place, you've actually probably seen it in Tokyo Skytree, but I'm showing you different ones than I had last time. This is the negitoro, which is also really good. Look at that like luscious piece of negitoro right there. You go to the konbini and it's just like, they give you like a small dollop of negitoro and you're like, oh dude, where's that negitoro? But look how thick that is. Like this is like more fish than rice usually. It's so good. Mm. That is simply heaven. This is like the perfect food for on the go. You just like grab a couple of onigiri, throw it in the bag. They come in these plastic trays. They do get squished sometimes. I've done that before, but you know, it's still pretty good like on the go food. This is the onsen tamago. I've actually like never seen this anywhere else where they give you a full onsen tamago and they wrap it in this like triangle onigiri. Pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna eat his head first and then I'm gonna eat his leg. The egg is nice because it's been like slightly marinated. So I think it's maybe like in a miso based sauce and then it like soaks up the miso and you can definitely taste it in the egg. And Michael is mentioning that I got stuff in my teeth. <laughs> I always have food in my mouth and teeth and look, it's right there. Back from that teeth cleaning break. So if you guys are looking for some good onigiri, this is the shop to go to. Number two, premium egg sandwich from Recipe and Market. Just check out how soft and light this egg sandwich is. I just love this shop's premium egg sandwich. I've already featured this fluffy creation in my Shibuya street food video, so I'm gonna skip the full review here. But if you wanna see it, check out the link in the video description. Definitely a must try if you love egg sandwiches. And number one, beef bento from Kakiyasu. Kakiyasu is a well-known Matsuzakaya and Kakiyasu Wagyu beef producer. They grow and process their own meat, cutting out the middleman. This allows their customers like me to eat premium Wagyu beef at reasonable prices. So this is the Kuroge Wagyu which is a type of beef. It's supposed to be one of the more premium beefs here in Japan. What's nice about these like bento boxes is if you're actually gonna get on the train or you're gonna get on the Shinkansen then you know there's stuff at Tokyo Station but you can actually pick up a bento box here and then you can bring it on to the train with you. So this one has Wagyu, it has rice, spinach, egg and then it has some um, pickled daikon. And so this one that I got is a sukiyaki flavor. So it looks so good, look at that. I can smell the onions. Look at that beautiful meat. That'll make your mama cry. Why does your mama have to cry? I don't know, because it's so good. <laughs> because it's like, you, <laughs> you cry and like, you know when you... When you... Mm. 
that's good the meat itself is really well seasoned it is sweet and it is savory both at the same time and i think the meat is like just really really strong in taste so like it mellows out the taste with the rice oh, there's actually gobo in it too so the gobo is a root so it gives it kind of like a awesome like crunchy texture to it and you feel a little bit more healthy because you have some gobo oh, the one thing one interesting note gobo they actually make fries out of this so they take like gobo sticks and they actually fry it it's pretty good so if you're ever in japan and you get a chance try to get some fried gobo the thing is that tokyo food show there's just so many different places where you can get bentos but if you're looking for like a wagyu dish then definitely this is the place to go my recommendo um so there are a lot of different types of uh, bento box in this shop but if you're hungry and if you're a meat eater Definitely choose this one, gyumeshi, because this one has the most meat. The one says uh, yakiniku bento. Uh, I don't know if you can read the kanji, but like that one has like a little hu in it to like make it look more like volumey. So like it has less meat. It's cheaper, but like it's only like 300 yen difference. So definitely get this one. Itadakimasu. Mmm. When you eat good meat, you know it's good meat because it tastes good. Even fat tastes good and surprisingly the rice is also good you never really pay attention to the rice especially like when it comes in this form like all covered in meat but this rice is like so sweet it just goes well with meat uh, if you like rice and if you have had like different types of rice you know the difference and this is good all right so that concludes my top 10 if you guys like this video help me out and hit that like button if you guys have any suggestions on what you guys want me to do next leave that in the comment section below and if you want to see more of my adventures in tokyo or in japan hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one